In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to reposition your anchor in the stream. Just like we've got here, you're fishing down a run and then they get these trees overhanging you. So you can't swing and put your D loop underneath the trees because my rod's going to hit the trees there. So what we need to do is we need to make our D loop out in the stream. Now we know it's not going to be very energy efficient, but it's a get out of jail cast. So if we need our D loop to be in front of the trees, we need it to be in front of the rod, then we need to reposition our anchor. There's no point having our anchor there and making our D loop in here. It's going to catch on the trees. We have to just sort of move the whole lot into the stream. Here we go. Swing the rod in, throw the anchor out, come round slowly, make your D loop and get the cast out. If I want to double spay, there's no point in me coming up and doing that, having my anchor there and swinging round because look, I'm in the trees again. So what I'm going to do is I can either just lift like that and lean into the stream, which is one way of doing it. Be careful about your D loop and get it out. Or I can do a roll cast and put it out in the stream. There. And then reposition it there. I've got it out a little bit further. Gently come round and put out the cast. You can do it with any cast. Say for instance, I wanted to do a 45 degree single spade. It's gonna be very difficult. But what I'm gonna do is lift, leave the anchor there, move the rod round and just roll cast it out. You're not going to get great distance, but it, in, you're going to be fishing and you're not catching underneath the trees. Another way to beat obstructions like this is to find a hole, like I've got a gap here. I can actually put a D loop there, but it can't be up in the air here because the trees are going to catch it. They're going to catch the rod tip. So to do that, I'm going to come round, sweep low and make a really shallow D loop like that. So. I'm working in this space here. It's a little more difficult to do. You've got your timing has to be quicker, but there's a good cast to help you with that. It's the snap T. Come round and through like that. You get more time. Here's the snake roll reposition. Snap T. There. Keep it low and fire it out. It's a great cast to fire a D loop under obstructions like that. Another trick with the snap T to beat obstructions is if, for instance, let's say if I stand back here now, let's say those trees were really low and they were hanging right in front of me. Well, instead of pulling the loop underneath the rod tip like that, which would catch the tree, I can actually do this. I can pull it the opposite way around the pulley and that gets underneath the branch watch like that that's a really great get out of jail waterborne anchor cast I'll show you that again actually got quite a fair distance there as well because you're compressing the D loop you're working against the tension of the line on the water and you can continue fishing in, in places where the fish are actually holding. Repositioning your anchor and beating obstructions in spay casting. Great.